The start of the NBA season is exactly one month away, so it's time we examine what it's going to take for the Raptors to get over the hump and return to the form that made them a legitimate contender to win the Eastern Conference. Here are five keys to the Raptors' success in the upcoming NBA season. Number one. Can any of their young centers emerge as the guy? Jonas Valanciunas has steadily improved from year to year since being drafted with the fifth overall pick in the 2011 NBA draft. Last season, he had a career high with rebounds with 9.5 per game, and he's been pretty consistent with his scoring by averaging between 11.3 and 12.8 points per game over the past four years. However, his name continues to be thrown around in trade rumors, and there is a sense that the Raptors have been expecting more of the seven-foot Lithuanian over the past few few years. There'll be an opportunity available for one of the other young centers to show that perhaps he can be the guy and chip away at some of Valanciunas' minutes. Lucas Nagara's there, Jakob Pertl's entering his second season, and the Raptors also picked up undrafted rookie free agent Kennedy Meeks, who won the NCAA championship at North Carolina, and he's going to get a shot to perhaps prove that maybe he's the guy. Number two is, can Kyle Lowry and DeMar DeRozan get even better this year? Lowry and DeRozan have been perennial all-stars over the past few years, and both have proven they are among the elite guards in the NBA. However, if the Raptors are going to challenge the Cleveland Cavaliers, one of them needs to step up his game and prove that he's even better than perhaps maybe we all thought. Lowry missed 21 games in a row due to injury last year down the stretch, and so it's imperative that he return to the form that he's shown in the past as a Raptor. You know, these two guys have put the franchise on their back over the past few years, but they're going to have to absorb even more weight on their shoulders if they're going to get past LeBron and the Cavs. The third key for the Raptors is that one of these young guards has to emerge. You know, in order for Lowry and DeRozan to get better, they're going to need some help. One of the young guards needs to emerge as a legitimate offensive threat to allow Dwayne Casey to manage the minutes of Lowry and DeRozan so they can be fresh for the second half of the season and into the playoffs. We've been hearing for some time now that both Norman Powell and DeLon Wright have been ready to emerge as full-time NBA players. Well, now is as good a time as ever to show it. You know, one of them needs to show something early in the season or else the likes of Fred Van Fleet could leapfrog them for minutes and both could eventually become expendable in the Raptors lineup. Another key that is essential to the Raptors success this year is that their young forwards have to improve. Pascal Siakam looks the part of a legitimate NBA power forward. I've written about him extensively since his days at New Mexico State and he looks like he's ready for a breakout season with the Raptors and the same can be said for Jakob Pertl. If they can both just be a little bit better this year, it'll put the Raptors in a much better position. The final key to the Raptors' success this season is don't make any silly moves early in the season if the Raptors get off to a slow start. The Eastern Conference has gotten much better with the likes of Boston making some major moves in the offseason, and Milwaukee and Washington have improved exponentially over the past year or so. Wins are going to be harder to come by, but that doesn't mean that Dwayne Casey should be on the hot seat or that the team needs to make any big trades early in the season. This is a pivotal year for the Raptors franchise, and any sudden movement prior to the All-Star break could disrupt the chemistry of the team and turn this into a rebuilding year. The Raptors need to stand pat with what they have, and that includes their head coach, and perhaps look to tinker around the trade deadline and add a key piece heading into the playoffs. Thanks for listening. I'm Chris McKee. Don't forget to check me out on Twitter at, at Mr. McKee.